hi everyone in this video you are going to learn about some wiring capacitances wiring capacitances are virtual capacitors we are not actually uh, intentionally creating these wiring capacitors but because of the properties of mass layers these wiring capacitors are virtually existed okay uh, that is because of the existence of two layers crossing side by side and separating by a dielectric medium that exists some capacitance so likewise we are having three different capacitors that are generally existed in the entire mass circuit see so mass circuits are having three main capacitance effects capacitance effects they are they are first one fringing field capacitance fringing field capacitance fringe is nothing but edge fringe is nothing but edge second one interlayer capacitance interlayer capacitance by seeing the names you can understand what do you mean by that capacitance and where it is generally existed and the last one is peripheral capacitance peripheral peripheral capacitance these are the three different capacitances which generally existed in the entire mass circuits so fringing field let us see the meaning of individual capacitances fringing field fringing field is nothing but the capacitance existed at the edge of any particular layer capacitance existed at the edge of a mass layer and the second one is interlayer capacitance interlayer capacitance is nothing but between two different layers one metal wire is going there one metal two wire is going there between these two some capacitance may be existed one metal wire is going there one polysilicon wire is going there between these two some capacitance is existed likewise the capacitance existed between two different wires is treated as interlayer capacitance and the next one is peripheral capacitance peripheral peripheral capacitance is nothing but Capa peripheral capacitance or we can also known it as uh, diffusion capacitance like n type diffusion or p type diffusion because of that diffusion capacitance is existed between the n type and p type we can call it as a depletion layer so that capacitance is known as peripheral capacitance okay let us see individually the first one is fringing fields fringing fields so what i told you what i mean by fringe fringe is nothing but edge edge capacitance edge capacitance <coughs> suppose if you are taking any mass layer any mass layer generally for this particular mass layer you say the wiring capacitance is equal to some area capacitance wiring capacitance is equal to normally you will say it is a area capacitance but if you say simply area capacitance that will not give 100 percent accurate measurement of the capacitance of this particular layer okay so to get accurate measurement of capacitance to get accurate measurement of capacitance the fringing field the fringing field capacitance the fringing field capacitance should be included the fringing field capacitance should be included okay this is what the meaning of fringing field 
generally a layer is having a capacitance that may be a area capacitance area capacitance but area capacitance how we are calculating area capacitance is equal to epsilon a by d okay we know this one epsilon a by d but if you take epsilon a by d it will not give you 100 percent accurate measurement of the capacitance of that particular layer this edge is also having edge edge is also having some capacitance if you add that particular capacitance also to your uh, area capacitance then it will give you the accurate calculation of area capacitance or we can say wiring capacitance okay so the expression for fringing field capacitance is expression for fringing field capacitance is CFF is equal to epsilon silicon dioxide epsilon naught L into pi divided by logarithm of 1 plus 2d by t 1 plus square root of 1 plus t by d minus t by 4t this is what the fringing field capacitance expression it's a uh, what is that um, experimental value we cannot uh, calculate it it's an experimental empirical relation okay we can say it is an empirical relation directly you can just by heart this ex uh, expression and present in the examination there is no proof for this one okay we no need to go for the proof also so the fringing field capacitance EFF is expressed in this way if you want we can write to what is what individually here where L is nothing but wire length where L is equal to length of the wire length of the wire and T is equal to thickness of wire and D is equal to wire to substrate separation wire to substrate substrate distance or separation okay now tell me what is the total capacitance total wiring capacitance total wiring capacitance if you are asked to calculate the total wiring capacitance cw is equal to c area plus cff hope you understand now previously we have taken only c area but now fringing field capacitance is also been added to get the accurate measurement of the wiring capacitance now the go to the second one second one is interlayer capacitance interlayer capacitance so interlayer capacitance okay by seeing the name we can understand the capacitance existed between the capacitance existed between two different layers is known as is known as interlayer capacitance interlayer capacitance okay so the capacitance existed between two different layers what are the two different layers for example for example a metal one wire is there it is a metal one wire and take another layer which is of any type okay let us consider a polysilicon wire okay somewhere in uh, entire circuitry when we are de uh, designing large circuitry somewhere definitely this situation may occur where two different layers conducting layers are going side by side okay this is metal 
let us give the representation for better understanding this is polysilicon so when these two are going like this with a distance between them is d then there exists some capacitance it simply resembles that a capacitance action a capacitance action this is what the interlayer capacitance this is what the meaning of interlayer capacitance and uh, intentionally we are not uh, creating but uh, unfortunately some capacitances are existed in the mass circuitry like this okay this is what the interlayer capacitance okay so now the third one is what is the third one third one is peripheral capacitance peripheral capacitance peripheral capacitance also known as also known as diffusion capacitance also known as diffusion capacitance it is more familiar name for you all so diffusion capacitance suppose if you are taking a mass structure take the mass structure in where we have discussed in the beginning of this VLSA see this now what about this take this as a P substrate if these two are N regions and here you have metal contact metal contact in this also metal contact now see here N type material has been diffused into P type substrate here also n type material has been diffused into p type substrate when you are diffusing n type impurities into the p type impurities electrons from this n type and holes from this p type these two are recombined together and produces a depletion region here here also electrons from this n type and holes from this p type will create a diffusion layer sorry depletion layer here so this gap is nothing but depletion layer in both the sides this particular depletion layer what is nothing but the depletion layer recombination of electrons and holes nothing but it simply acts as a neutral it simply acts as a neutral and it's not a conducting path because it the electrons and holes are neutral now okay as it is not conducting it is simply taken as a dielectric material now see this this is a semiconducting layer it is a semiconducting layer separated by a dielectric material it acts as some capacitance it simply acts as a capacitance that is known as diffusion capacitance that is known as diffusion capacitance or we can say it is a peripheral capacitance peripheral capacitance so the capacitance the capacitance existed between between uh, two semiconducting layers semiconducting layers is known as peripheral capacitance peripheral or diffusion it is due to the diffusing n type impurities into the p type the same may be occurred with the p mass transistor also okay then the n become p here n becomes p and again p becomes n wherever whatever it is n type or p type definitely there exists some diffusion capacitance okay so now the total wiring and the total capacitance the total capacitance c total we can write it as c total is equal to c area capacitance plus c peripheral capacitance c area capacitance plus c peripheral capacitance this is what the existence of three different capacitors in the mass circuits thank you